Hello smart people, in this video I will show you how to set up Google Analytics 4 on WordPress using Google Tag Manager. We will set up Google Analytics for this website through Google Tag Manager and this is our Google Tag Manager account. If you don't know how to create Google Tag Manager account, you can check out my previous videos. I have already made videos on how to create Google Tag Manager account within a few minutes. This is our Google Analytics account, here we don't see any activity data. Here we need to connect Google Analytics with our website to Google Tag Manager so that we can track data and activity here. See if I visit any page. So let's see, I visit this page. Uh, see, here is no any activity. If I go real time data, see, here is no any activity because uh, we are not connected with our website and Google Analytics. See, here is no any activity. Okay, so first, we already we connect with our Google Tag Manager with our website. And if you don't know how to connect, I have already made videos uh, about how to connect with Google Tag Manager with your website so you can watch my previous videos. But now we see how to set up Google Analytics with your website through Google Tag Manager. So first uh, we need to create tag. So click tag and click new. Click here and choose tag type. We need to set up Google Analytics so that's why I click Google Analytics and see here is Google tag option just click here and we need to put here tag ID so where we can find out just click um, Google Analytics and click admin option uh, then click data stream click here uh, yeah see measurement ID just copy this ID from your Google Analytics account and then go Google Tag Manager account and we can paste from here also we need again and again this ID that's the we have to create here constant variable just to go your variable section and then click user defined variable click here just click and select constant variable yeah constant and paste here Google Analytics variable ID because we have to use this ID again and again so that's why we create this variable and just click save so you can write here your variable name so I just write here GA4 measurement ID for remember purpose just click save okay we are already created variable now you can go tag and set up easily okay so click new and click Google Analytics, Google Tag. So just from here we can select our variable already. Uh, the, this is our Google measurement ID. Just select and triggering option you have to select all pages and just save and now we can write our tag name. So we can write here GA4 config tag. Okay. So and click saves. So now we need to click submit and publish continue yeah now we can see our google analytics set up with our website okay just go your google analytics and report section click real time if someone visit our website then we can say here data just wait one second mm -hmm. okay so wait we have to wait a little bit here we have to wait here some moment then we can see here is our website data is coming if someone visit any page then we can see here data if someone visit your website then you can see their activity in here so we have to wait some time then you can see here is then you can see user activity here see user in last 30 minutes one because this is me and i'm from bangladesh that's a here show location here show my location dhaka yeah now if someone visit your website you can see their activity and their data here you can check how many people visit your website you can check everything from here and if you want track how many people click product page and click add to cart and how many people purchase from your website you can check easily by setup conversion tracking if you don't know how to set up conversion tagging, you can subscribe my channel. I will upload video very soon how to set up G4 conversion tagging. So subscribe my channel and wait for next video. Thank you.